Welcome to EMI Broker AFL based algo trading series from Market Secrets. This is one of the algo trading series that we have. In addition to that, we have PineScript based algo trading series running in parallel. And also we have multiple other series on trading strategies and price action trading running in parallel. So for all the various e-learnings, check out our website www.marketsecrets.in. And with that note, let's jump into today's session. In today's session, we are going to learn how to code an ME broker AFL for pattern recognition. Especially we are taking two scenarios here. One is double top and double bottom patterns. So we will be writing a simple script which will be able to spot these double, double top and double bottom patterns from our price chart. So this will help us immensely during the live trading. So with that note, let's jump right into the details. Trading patterns are one of the famously used trading signal when it comes to trading. There are hundreds of patterns, but just one pattern is enough for us to trade for lifetime. In this episode, we'll be focusing on creating an AFL script, which can be used to recognize one of the most commonly used chart patterns in the world, which is double top and double bottom patterns. This AFL is an indicator and not a trading system, but you can easily convert it into a full-fledged trading system by adding few confirmation signals to this particular script. Since it is a study and not a system, let's jump straight to the script. So moving to the script, since this script is too long, I'll ignore the part of the scripts which we generally use and discuss in the previous episodes. So let's jump directly to the part which is specific to this particular script. If you don't understand any part of the script that is left out in this episode, check out our previous episodes to understand the same. If you still not get the clarity, then reach us through the comment section. We'll be happy to help. So let's start with the double bottom recognition script. So the first part in recognizing a double bottom pattern is to identify two lower lows on a similar level. Lower lows are nothing but support or strength or valleys. We are going to call this as right strength and left strength. This is nothing but your two different lower lows. Likewise, to recognize a double top pattern, we need to identify two higher highs on similar levels. So higher highs are nothing but your resistance and peaks. We are going to call this as right side resistance and left side resistance. These are nothing but two higher highs. So we need to identify these troughs and peaks first that is nothing but your higher highs and lower lows first in order to do this we need to first plot all the lower low higher low lower high and higher highs so when it comes to any trend recognition we generally have lower lows higher lows lower high and higher highs this is exactly what we have seen in the swing trading afl system now we need to identify whether any of the two lower lows that we identified are next to each other and are on the same levels. Then if that is true, then we can mark it as a double bottom pattern as simple as that. So first we need to identify all the lower lows and higher lows and all the relevant higher lows and lower highs and once that is done we just have to pick up the lower lows and see whether any of the lower lows are next to each other and if that is the case then we need to see whether those are on the same levels and if that is also s then it's a double bottom pattern the reverse is true for double top pattern so we need to identify the two higher highs which are next to each other and are on the same levels and once that is done we can mark this as a double top in addition to that, we can set up thresholds to give us the range in which these higher highs or lower lows should be located in order for them to be marked as proper fit for double top and double bottom pattern. So sometimes these lower lows and higher highs might be next to each other, but it might vary by few pips, which is completely allowed. This is what I'm talking about a threshold. We can have, you know, 1%, 2% or even 5% thresholds to ensure that these patterns are recognized properly considering these additional one or two point difference. And lastly, you need to mark these various areas in the chart that is higher highs, lower highs, higher lows and lower lows along with double top and double bottom in the charts. So when it comes to the script level, these are all the basic settings that we need to do. And once that is done, we are identifying the left strength and right strength that we have discussed earlier and using their left strength and right strength, we are looking for higher highs, lower lows and lower highs and higher lows 
and once that is done we are checking whether these higher highs and lower lows are next to each other and whether that is within this threshold and once that is done we are just identifying each of those and just plotting it for example we are plotting lower low higher high double bottom higher high lower high and double top now let's plot this aflnr chart so once you do you'll be able to see these various lower lows higher highs lower highs and higher lows in your chart and if there is any double top pattern it will also be marked as well for example here there is two higher highs next to each other and it is almost on the same lines so this is marked as double top so you don't have to manually look for the double top in your charts this afl will give you the double chart uh, marking clearly in your chart so this will reduce you know a lot of biases when it comes to trading so look how easily and beautifully it has plotted all these values in the chart this will help us immensely while trading as it eliminates it's all our biases which is our worst enemy when it comes to trading so even if you you know uh, scroll all the way right you will be able to see all the different um, you know um, patterns that you have for example here there is two lower lows next to each other and it has clearly marked it as double bottom so if you don't want these additional signals like higher highs and uh, higher lows and lower highs and lower lows you can uh, remove that from your afl script it is just like you just have to comment uh, you know these part of the script uh, to in order to do that so if you think that is a disturbance you can remove it but uh, you know Otherwise, you can leave it as such. So if you look at here, right, a consecutive double bottom, it's actually a tri triple bottom, but since we don't have a script to capture triple bottom, it's uh, plotted consecutive uh, double bottoms. So you can just change the time frame and you can see how this pattern recognition works in different time frames as well. So just give it a shot and let us know how it goes. This brings us to the end of today's episode. If you have any queries, comments about this particular episode, please drop it down in the comment section. We'll be happy to answer it. If you like the video, hit the like button and share it with your friends if you find it useful. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.